What's going on, world? What's going on, gamers? So, more Ubisoft news, right? Controversy company of the year, for sure. I mean, every time you think you take a break from Ubisoft drama, you turn back around, there's more up for you. Uh, you know, it's very comical. All the stuff we've seen this year from them, it's, it's definitely uh, historical. Uh, you know, in all sorts of ways. But Francis Ubisoft faces three-day strike as unions protest over remote work decisions. So, so what are we talking about here? Well, they're demanding all French workers to return back to the office because it's getting serious over there. You had to stock collapse. You had to fail your skull and bones. You had to fail your X Defiant, which is going down. Let's take a look at this real quick. X Defiant is already dead. Ubisoft research team is actively asking their tester to have another in-house test session and give repeat, uh, you know, their feedback. Multiple sources told that it's possible that the game will end support after season four if they can't get enough players. That was supposed to be the Call of Duty uh, competitor right there. Star Wars only sold a million copies. We know that's abysmal. You know, this DEI stuff just doesn't work. This being pushed by the Communist Party. Since we figured out that Tencent, which I, I've known this because I've told people about it too, they have a huge stake uh, in Ubisoft. If we don't know who Tencent is, it's good to understand uh, they've been around since 1998. And one of the masterminds behind them is Mahwo Ting. It was a network of 47.4 billion. And uh, we're going to get more into that in a second. But um, also the insider uh, of this gentleman right here made it clear Assassin's Creed Shadows has less than 800 pre-orders combined before they made that announcement. This is back in August 29th, and then they delayed it. So it just wasn't doing well. They couldn't afford that failure. So you had all those failures going on. Star Wars is unfinished, unpolished. It got rushed. Ubisoft does this all the time. Says Creed Shadows was not done. They had to get delayed. I'm pretty sure they're changing on some DEI aspects for Yasuke to make him less um, relevant in the game, but it'll still have him in there. And um, February is probably a placeholder. So with all that going on, they're going to get back to doubling down on the staff and getting them in the office because remote play means, um, you know, that it's not as effective. We knew this with the COVID thing, how many games are getting delayed. When you're in the office, you work way better. But let's go ahead and read some of this stuff. Unions have called employees of video games, John Ubisoft, to go on strike for three days. I mean, you're going to have to be working three days in the office. In a dispute over remote working and pay, hitting a firm already struggling with poor sales and a collapse in share price. Yeah, their stock is the lowest it's ever been. This week's strife caused by a September message from management insisting on a return to three days working in the office for all staff worldwide, not just France. France has 4,000 employees, by the way. Follows on from another walkout in February when hundreds in France join a dispute over pay. I mean, it's basically a DEI boot camp now. Don't nobody want to be in there. <laughs> Unions said that they have received no response to the grievances aired in February. And that the September message was the straw that broke the camel's back. Clement Mockney, a delegate from the Montpellier, because this is France, Studios Video Game Workers Union, told French news agency AFP. Ubisoft managers told staff in an email that returning to the office was vital to foster creativity and promised to give workers time to adjust. The trade unions are denouncing the decision, which was taken without consultation, and around 50 people were reported on a picket line in Montpellier with Ubisoft offices and Annecy, Lyon, and Paris also expected to be affected. A right recently acquired. The company wants its 4,000 French employees to return to the office at least three days a week. This kind of says a lot, right? Why are they not in the office like that anyways? Okay, so it's kind of been like, what, vacation, DEI boot camps going on, with them just, you know, remote working. This doesn't seem like, you know, people are putting their heart and soul into these projects. You can kind of clearly see this here. So uh, this gives a more deeper view behind the scenes of what's been going on at Ubisoft all oh, year. And even prior to that, people don't want to be there. You can tell they don't like it.
This decision is quite unfair. We're going back on a right that employees have recently acquired. Mark Ruthley, whatever that means in French. Um, Sol Solidaris. Informatique. And inform <laughs> informatique, whatever that says, Union Delicate told France Info. So, you know, in informatique, I, I would just say that informative uh, because uh, it's basically said in French. I don't know much French. Some employees will not be able to come back to the office as much, like this Ubisoft employee who now lives hundreds of kilometers from the Paris headquarters. I've had to move house so I can come back for three days face to face. I'm going to have to ask myself whether I should leave the company or not. If you really enjoy and love doing what you're doing, you're not going to make that statement. Because I'm going to have to make a choice between staying with the company or making a choice for a better quality of life. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear, right? Uh, yeah, it's not fun there. According to the union, staff departures, including some rare profiles, could jeopardize video game production in France. Ubisoft sales down. Titles such as Star Wars, Outlaws, Skull and Bones, Jubilee, I don't know why they even did that. A new episode of Prince of Persia have failed. X Defiant is also failing, and Assassin's Creed Shadow obviously failed, so you had to delay that. And the company spooked investors by delaying the, lead, the, the, the latest release of Assassin's Creed franchise to next year. On social networks, its games are regularly the target of criticism and mockery. A phenomenon now known as Ubi Bashing. Also, the value of Ubisoft shares have collapsed by more than 40% since the beginning of the year, touching the lowest level in 10 years in September. Negotiations on remote working begin on October 10th with unions and management. So there we have, you know, that article right there. Yeah, there we have it, y'all. So we see that Ubisoft is demanding that. And of course, if you want to polish up games, get games better, you're going to have to bring people back in the office. That's just things that we should understand. Now, going over here, we see Tencent and Golimot family report, uh, reportedly planning Ubisoft buyout. Now, here's the thing with this. I had some information that was revealed to me in my last video. You guys saw that. That back in 2016, there was a company named uh, Vivendi or whatever who was trying to take over Ubisoft. But the funny thing about it was, is when they didn't get their way and Ubisoft ended up winning, they sold the shares that they owned in Ubisoft to Tencent. This was back in 2016. So Tencent's been trying to take over Ubisoft. And that goes back to Chinese Communist Party. And a lot of people were exposing lately that they have been having a hook in the company Ubisoft with the Guillemot family to purposely tank the company down release stuff like this on purpose to decrease the value so that they can swoop in and gather all their IPs. They're not interested in the company. They're interested in all the IPs that, Ubi, uh, that Ubisoft has. And we all know that um, this is a thing. Uh, definitely when it comes to Communist Chinese Party uh, and just the far left mindsets too, when it comes to screwing over your own hometown and bringing in uh, lesser quality for cheaper pay and cheaper labor. So that you can make more profit, put people in a slave boot camp. I mean, it's been going on for a while. And we kind of see this be over here and screwing over your base in your hometown. So this is a thing that's definitely been going on. And I brought that into the spotlight. It's in one of my videos that I recently did. Um, right here, Tencent CCP hostile takeover on Ubisoft exposed with Assassin's Creed Shadows. You know, I've been doing that type of stuff for uh, quite some time now. So if you guys want to check out my controversy on that, I've covered that cover to cover uh, for a couple months now. Didn't miss anything. But this type of stuff doesn't surprise me. Uh, I kind of figured that was going to happen because they said there was supposed to be a meeting going on too with Ubisoft. So France is kind of trying to fight to keep them as a French company. They don't want the Chinese Communist Party to take over. Then you can kind of see that the CEO of Ubisoft and the family that he owns the Chinese Communist Party, he wants to take a vacation, he's getting old, and he wants them to take over and, and keep the company in the state that he wants it, uh, along with them manipulating too, and destroying the company to get it cheaper and gather all the IPs, and that puts it underneath China's belt with the Ubisoft label, which it's like, you know, it's ridiculous, uh, but that's what's kind of going on. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, like and subscribe, after the channel, I'll keep it going. 
I'm gonna be doing this for years, also doing gaming content as well. I'm gonna be doing streaming, all sorts of stuff. Y'all been gaming for 30 years, but I'm uh, glad to cover this. And there's more Ubisoft news. Pretty sure we have lots more to go in the next year because it's about to get crazy in there. All right, y'all, let me know what y'all think again. Like I said, y'all have a good day, evening, night, wherever you're around the world. Peace out.